50 bushel corn and 70 bushel beans. The beans are on the back page, okay? And this was a no rent. This is just, just your inputs. So you can go across there and you can kind of put uh, your own th cost in there. And uh, I did this and uh, I've been passing these out. Fertilizer, you can see the nitrogen is $250. Right now it's from 75 cents to a dollar a pound for nitrogen. Now it is coming down. Uh, two weeks ago, got a phone call, price of urea come down. I said I'll make a decision in the morning. Next morning it was $140 a ton higher. That's how volatile it is, this fertilizer. Uh, I think there'll be supply. It all depends on how many beans are planted. If corn drops down to 90 million acres or below, I think there'll be plenty of fertilizer. I still think there'll be plenty of fertilizer because the I states put a lot on last fall. A lot of stuff went on. Depends on what beans does. But right now, fertilizer is double what you paid last year. And uh, some of it might be even higher than that. So you see the cost here uh, on corn, I got $972 an acre. And beans, I got 486. And uh, so you can put your own cost in there. And everything. As far as chemicals, cover your chemicals. Uh, chemicals, first time I seen Roundup, reminds me, Mike, when I first got into business, we were paying like $180 for Roundup. That was way back, that's 40, uh, 45 years ago. Were and concerned with availability on the uh, I think there is. I mean, Bayer just came out yesterday and said they're not going to. There's a supply issue with Bayer, and which is that's the old Monsanto. And uh, other words, they're going to not fill their contracts. Uh, we we covered. I, I think I'm all right. But I don't know about anybody else. Now, the round came back down, and now I think it's going to go back up. You're still talking. $49, $50 a gallon for Roundup. Last year was $18. So that gives you an idea. Um, um, and I think there'll be some shortage in the insecticides. Um, you know, just depend on how soon you got some. But, but I would cover on chemicals and notarize what you got. Fertilizer, I, I think you can wait on fertilizer a little bit. I think, that, I think the urea will come down. I just think that if there's more beans and, you know, like in 2008, you know, there was 32% less fertilizer put on. That's, that's the last time fertilizer got this high. There was 32% less fertilizer put on the, in 2008. So there will be less fertilizer put on. But you also got the higher prices too. Commodities are hard. But right now, I don't seem to have any problem getting a fertilizer. The supply seems to be there. You're just going to pay a price for it. You know, potash is high. You know, right now you're looking at urea probably $750. Potash, somewhere around that $750. Uh, 1034.0, you know, 900. Map, you know, eight, 850. Now, there's some, there's some prices out there. Some, you know, some of the suppliers had some, so that, I'm just talking about if you had to replace it right now. So, but this was, uh, but this kind of gives you an idea of what I passed off to my farmers. Uh, one thing we, we're doing a lot is I brought a soil probe. Uh, we're going to try to, this will go back to some of this nitrogen to, I'm going to talk about a little bit too. We are soil probing, trying to find out the residual nitrogen that's in the soil bef right before you plant. See what you got. You may not have to do every field, but you kind of know which fields, how you've been doing, how you've been putting your nitrogen on. In my area, we got a lot of nitrate in the water, and we pumped a lot of water, uh, and so there'd be quite a bit. And when you talk about nitrogen, I got, I don't know if you saw this in the, in the Norfolk paper. This was in the Norfolk paper the other night. And this is going to be the reason we're going to be doing some of this. You got with them too? Okay. Potential dangers of nitrate highlighted. NRDs are going to uh, really come down on us. We're, we'll, they'll regulate us. It's going to happen. Because right now, our, our NRD is going out and doing sampling. 
You know, they're, they're coming they're come right. I see them go out right now. They're all there sampling all the ground. They're going to spot sample and see where they're at. But this was in a Norfolk paper. And uh, so that's one reason why we're going to need to take a sample in the spring and, and find out what you got. And another big thing we're doing is we're tissue sampling. We're going to know what that crop needs. We're going to, we're going to treat that crop like it's feeding cattle. You're going to know where it's at. And uh, we're finding out that by taking soil samples in our irrigated ground versus a dry land corner, we got half the micronutrients in the irrigated <coughs> ground. Half. We are sucking the micronutrients out of our fields because we're producing so such high yields. And we're going to have to re-watch the micronutrients. And that's what we're, we're putting a lot. But this tissue sampling, and we're going to try to get specifics on each quarter having the same hybrid so that we can know, because every hybrid is a little different as far as nitrogen usage. Some of them will take more. And so we want to get very specific on, a lot of guys are trying to go out there and plant, they got four rows of this, eight rows of this, and, and I'm trying to discourage them from that. I want to see a quarter to have the same hybrid on so that we can tissue sample it and know where we're at. And I'm going to pass these out here. This will get, you got to pass them out? Okay, pass these. Did you pass? pass I got those yet. No. Yeah, pass them out. But this will give you kind of an idea. I, I printed this off. And this is kind of what we use to, as far as tissue sampling. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the level, level farming. Have you watched level farming? Level farming is a group of guys at uh, uh, Hula, and uh, there's quite a few guys that are on that. They don't talk too much about because they signed a disclosure, but they're tissue sampling all the time. They're almost sampling. They got fields they're sampling every week. They want to know where that crop's at. And that's what we got to do. Because we're going to, you know, when they talked about that spoon feeding the crop, I mean, all the farmers I got, we don't put any nitrogen out early. All the farmers I work with were not, no early nitrogen. We put a, high, we put a, a starter out there, and then we start spoon feeding. And we do not go out and put anything on our sand. We've gone away from that. I did, I've done that the last 10 years. And so we just spoon feed. Um, let's see what else might miss. The, this right here gives you kind of a, gives you an idea of when we want a tissue sample of this here. Just give you an idea of what it looks like. But uh, as far as one thing is, a lot of guys are going to try to do this so, so we don't have to put as much fertilizer out there. I've loaded my farmers up the last four or five years on a lot of fertilizer. And now we're going to try to see if, where we're at. Because uh, we can go ahead and correct some of this stuff if we take tissue sample. If you go into a certain stage there, we, we know where we can come, may come back in and correct that a little bit. So that's what we're doing. But right now, fertilizer's high. You've got to watch your input costs. And you see what I passed out there. That's $962. It's going to be pretty slim profits. Especially if we don't. Uh, I'm trying to caution all my farmers, don't. You know, right now, everybody wants to go out and just put a whole bunch on. Well, we had good yields last year, but there's no guarantee for next year. I've seen it the other way. I come from the, I come from the 70s and the 80s. I've seen too many put too much fertilizer on and go broke. So now it's got to be real cautious. Any questions? I'll give you some food. <clears throat> 